Okay, hello, how's everybody doing today? This is a training tutorial video on the scripts and rebuttals. So let's get right into it. So a lot of times it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So the inflections in your voice are real important. You know, you wanna emphasize certain things. Uh, I'm gonna go through this with you. This way you'll see exactly how it's done. But most people just read the script word for word. That's the best advice we can give you. Just read it word for word, but don't sound like you're reading. That's the key. So let's go right into this. So again, these are all incoming phone calls from your ads that you're placing on Google AdWords and Facebook. So as soon as the uh, call comes in, You'll start out by saying, hello, and thanks for calling Hometown Buyers Club. How can I help you? Great. I saw your ad uh, that you buy homes for cash. Okay. Uh, of course, that's what the uh, customer is going to say. And you're going to say, yes, we absolutely do. Okay. Let me get to the MLS so I can type in your address. And what was the property address so I can pull it up on our system? So as soon as they give you the address, what you want to do is immediately you just want to go to Google and you'll type in the address. Let's say their address is 302 Cayley Way uh, that we're going to use as an example, Red Oak, Texas. So you'll see it's located right here. And then you may say, uh, going back to the script, you'll see here it says, yes, I see your home. And you want to pause a little bit. Uh, I see that we just recently purchased a property nearby on, and then you would say, uh, are you familiar with Parks Branch Road or Cascade Drive, Cayley Way? You know, or not, yeah, yeah don't mention the uh, Cayley Way because that's on their street, but you can mention any other street in the surrounding area. Are you familiar with Lake Street? Chances are they're going to say yes. Okay, that adds immediate credibility. Um, you want to, you know, get the customer to acknowledge the landmark or, or the nearby property. All right. So you want to say, yeah, we, we just recently purchased a property nearby on, and then you just pick a street near the subject property address. Like I say, there's nothing that adds more credibility than that. Okay, great. So let's, uh, let me proceed. And your name is, okay. And then you get your, their name. Let's say his name is uh, John as an example. All right, John, uh, my name is Scott. And again, the company name is Hometown Buyers Club. We've been in business for over 10 years now and we bought a ton of properties in your area. Again, you wanna reiterate that because that adds a ton of credibility. Um, just to take down our website, it's hometownbuyersclub.com. So here's the time to you really set the expectations. Okay, John, our home buying process is pretty simple. I just need to ask you a few basic questions about the property. This way I can go ahead and evaluate the home right here in our system and see the top dollar that I can offer you. Okay, the whole process takes about six minutes. Fair enough? Sounds good? Okay, great. All right, so just to let you know, John, we're a fully licensed real estate investment company, so we don't buy every single property that we evaluate. However, we do have a team of licensed realtors in your area that can assist you in selling, assuming that we weren't a good fit. Does that make sense? Okay, great. So here's the part where we really want to qualify the homeowner. So can you tell me a little bit about the property, you know, the square footage, the year it was built, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms, the condition of the home, things like that. Now, while they're giving you this information, the trick is to immediately go here to the cash offer form and start filling in the blanks. Okay, so we got, you get his name, John, get his last name, um, type in his information here. And uh, again, while they're rambling on, you want to try and and fill in the information. Also, you want to go here to PropStream and you would type in their address, okay? There's a, a, a training tutorial video that we created that uh, you should have seen already. If you have not seen it yet, go to the PropStream training video and it will show you exactly how to run the comps, okay? So let's continue. So again, while they're just rambling on about, you know, what the home has, the condition of the home, uh, the kitchen, the roof, electrical plumbing, um, has the kitchen or the bathrooms ever been remodeled or updated or are they just in fair shape? You're going to ask these questions um, over here on the offer form when you're going through here. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll already know when the house was built and the year because it's going to come right up on PropStream. You're already going to know the bedrooms and, and the baths and the square footage, but they're also telling you in the script. Okay, so you want to have all these tabs open. This is how you stay, you know, the most organized when you're going through this. All right, so let's... Uh, pick up where we left off here. So it sounds like you have a great home there, uh, John. And then, you know, sound surprised, just curious, why were you looking to sell? So you want to really find the reason. What's the reason, the main motivation, why they're looking to sell their property? So let me ask you this, John, if we presented you with an offer that made sense to you, that you liked, uh, what time frame would you be ready to close? Would it be a week, two weeks, a month? So you want to try and uh, find out when they're ready to close. And again, there's a, a field here for you to fill in when you ask them uh, when were they looking to close, which would be 
Um, hold on one second. All right, here it is right here. How quickly do you need to sell the house in the next few weeks, month, three months? So you want to type that in there. So again, the object is to try and fill in these blanks as much as you can uh, while you're on the phone with the customer going through the script, or you can go through the script. And then if it's easier, once you finish, you just want to go right to the offer form and start filling it out. Uh, but then you're asking a, a few redundant questions, but that's okay. You just want to, you know, say, and what was the square footage again? And what was this again? And that again, and you'll fill it in uh, accordingly. Okay, great. So I'm trying to run some comps here with the comparable properties in your area on the MLS based on what I'm seeing here on the tax records. And I'm just looking at other properties with similar square footage, same bed bedrooms and baths that were sold within the last year. And uh, based on the condition that you described to me, um, and then, of, co of course, you want to, you know, build your case here, remind the seller that the property needs a lot of work based on what they've told you. Now, when you're running the comps, make sure that you're within a, a 200 square feet of each, really 100, but you can go out 200 square feet uh, each way, 200 square feet under the square footage and 200 square feet over the square footage within a two mile radius with the same number of bedrooms and baths that were sold within the last year. Okay, never tell the customers what the comps sold for as that's retail and we buy wholesale. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a small uh, radius search around the property and are you familiar with? And then you wanna make, uh, again, you wanna mention those, those streets that we talked about here on Google. Are you familiar with uh, Cascade Drive or you know Parks, Branch Road, etc. All right. It just lets the customer know that you're familiar with their area. All right. So while I'm running the comps here, considering the condition that it's in, did you have any idea about what you might, you know, what the property might be worth or what you're looking to sell it for? Okay. So again, uh, when we're running the comps, uh, we type in the subject property address, the 302 Cayley Way. That's what we're using as an example. And you would simply click here where it says 302 Cayley Way. And then you would scroll here where it says compar comparables and nearby listings. And again, this is where we want to start filling in the blanks. Uh, we showed you this already in the uh, prop stream training video, but let me go over it again. So you want to make sure you're trying to figure out what was bought and sold within the last year with the same square footage, same number of bedrooms and baths within a two mile radius. So the first thing you want to click here is sold. So we're trying to figure out what was sold in the last year on the MLS. We want to go out two miles. And again, you'll see here, here's the property, uh, subject property address that we're talking about. Here's the number of bedrooms and baths and square footage, which we need. So again, it says 2,298 square feet. So we'll type in 2,198 square feet there. And we'll go out to 2,398 square feet. So you see what I did there? I went 100 square feet less than this to 100 square feet more than that number right there. All right. Again, 2,298 square feet is the subject property address. And we're trying to run comps in the area to see what was bought and sold on the MLS within the last year within the two mile radius. Um, here you'll see three bedrooms, two baths. So we want to go three bedrooms to three bedrooms and then two baths to two baths. And that's how we're coming up with the ARV, which is here, 211,233, which we show you. Uh, we show you this in the uh, ARV calculation cheat sheet right here. So we've sent you a copy of this. This is in the attachments in your blueprint email. Um, there is also the training video on prop stream and the cheat sheet. So you want to go over this so you understand how to figure out the repairs based on the square footage, whether they have light repairs, average repairs, or heavy repairs. And then of course you want to use the wholesale fee formula guideline to figure out how much to charge on the wholesale fee based on the property value, the ARV. Okay, of course, the more wholesale fee we charge, the more commission you make, okay, which is gonna be down here. So we've sent you the compensation plan as well, so you should have a copy of this, all right? So let's go back to the script where we left off. All right, so if seller gives a price, um, you want to type that into the cash offer form under lowest asking price. I keep, um, you know, moving the moving the uh, screens back and forth. Ideally, it's better if you have two monitors, 
um, or maybe a, a one computer, you know, one monitor with a laptop nearby because it's it just helps you to stay so much more organized when you have two screens. I'm only able, I actually have three screens in front of me, so it's easy for me, but I'm only able to record what you're looking at on this one screen. So that's why I keep going back and forth, but you may find an easier way to do this, maybe with a split screen, like you would have the script like this, you would like maybe cut it in half and then have another screen over here, do a split screen like that. Um, or of course, the best way, the most organized way is to have, you know, like I say, a screen uh, with a laptop or ideally, you know, two monitors so you can see what's going on. But uh, just trying to, uh, you know, make the best here, uh, only able to record the one screen so I can show you how to do this. All right, so again, you would go to the cash offer form and you want to type in the lowest asking price. Let's say the customer, the homeowner says, yeah, I'm looking to get, you know, 150 for my home, for my property. So you would simply go here and you'll notice right there, it says lowest asking price. If I'm able to meet your timeline and I can offer you a full cash offer, uh, what would be the absolute lowest asking price that you would go? So that's where you would type in the 150,000. All right, so let's let's go back here. All right, so if the seller won't give a price and they're adamant about us making the offer first, then you want to say, in order to give you the best cash offer we can buy your property for, I just need to ask you some detailed questions about the property first. All right, this is where you want to assume the sale. So you'll notice here it says, go to the cash offer form to begin asking the detailed questions about the property. So at this point, this is where you really want to, want to drill down. You want to find out what their pain is. In other words, what is the main motivation for them selling? Why do they want to sell? Okay. And you'll just check that off and you'll start filling in the blanks. You know, what year was the house built? You already know that already because it says it right here, 2014. Again, this is the example we're using. This is the su uh, subject property address. It was built in 2014. So you would fill that in there. How many bedrooms and baths? Okay. Again, you see it right there. Three bedroom, two bath. Uh, what's the square footage of the house? Again, you can always go to PropStream and uh, it's all right here. Square footage, 2,298 square feet. So again, you want to go through the whole thing. Uh, we've got a training video already created, which you should have seen. If you have not as of yet, go watch the PropStream and um, ARV calculation cheat sheet training video. And that's going to go through all this in detail, but you're just going through the questions, asking them if there's any repairs that need to be done that we should know about. Any liens, property, uh, permit issues, code violations? Have you done any upgrades to the home? So again, you want to go through all these questions. What what condition is the, the kitchen countertops in, carpets, tile, walls, etc.? How old is the roof? So you really want to study the script and study this offer form because this is what you're going to be reading and going over with the customer when you have them on the phone with you. All right? So let's go back where we left off. So after you've got the cash offer form all filled out, OK, now it's time to negotiate the deal. They've told you that they're looking to get one hundred and fifty thousand for the property. So now is the time to negotiate. Uh, John, based on the condition of the property, if we can cover all the closing costs and the fees to get the closing scheduled with the title company within your time frame and just give you a cash price offer, what do you think would be the best selling price that you could do? All right. So whatever price you hear, you still want to ask. Uh, you know, you still want to say, yeah, I know this area pretty well. I think we're close, but is there any wiggle room, any flexibility in there at all? You know, I want to make sure that, you know, we can give you the best offer. We buy a lot of homes in, in uh, Red Oak, Texas or whatever city that uh, they're in. Now, I know for a fact you could easily list, list this property. It may take a while to sell. You know, you might be able to get a little more for it, but I'm sure, you know, if we went that route, you know, there'd be closing costs, fees, repairs, financing, all that stuff. Or if we just bought it, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about any of that. You know, you would just pick a date that you'd like to close within the next few weeks and you could just walk away from it quickly if that's what you wanted to, to do, you know, just giving you your options. So most of the people that you're talking to, these are all highly motivated sellers. These are people that just want to sell their home for whatever reason. OK, so they're not going to want to wait six months to a year. They're going to want to close quickly. All right. So, John, let me ask you this. Um, you know, we work with a few really reputable title companies in your area and a few great attorneys that deal with the mortgages, the title work, lien search, etc. But let me do this. I'm going to speak with my transaction coordinator that handles the funding to see if we could do that price. I'm not sure if we can, but we're in the ballpark. 
Um, John, again, based on the comparable properties in your neighborhood and, and based on the repairs that you said you, you, that your house needed, is that the absolute lowest, lowest rock bottom price that you can do? Again, this is where your negotiating skills really come into play. Um, you know, take, take a moment, think about it, you know, put me on hold. If you want to discuss it with your husband, your wife, your significant other, you know, I can hold while you discuss it among yourselves. All right. So give them a few minutes there to discuss it. Um, if I can get the, the approval, is this something that you'd be ready to move forward with today? Okay, so you just want to be quiet. You want to wait for their response. Okay, perfect. So let me speak to him regarding your property. Um, if you can hold on for a few minutes, are you able to hold? Okay, you don't want to you know, call them back because then you call them back and then you might not reach them or, or whatever the scenario is. So you always want to tell them, you never want to let them get off the phone. That's the key here. You want to say, hang on for about a minute, one or two minutes. So you put them on hold. Now's when you want to go to PropStream and just verify the ARV, the repair amount. You want to uh, calculate the wholesale fee based on the property value and the MAO, which is going to be the maximum allowable offer. Okay, again, we showed you uh, how to do this uh, in the uh, prop stream training video. Okay, and uh, I'm sorry, in the uh, offer form training video. So this is where you want to just fill in the blanks, the ARV, the repair amount, wholesale fee, and the maximum allowable offer. If you have not seen the training video on how to fill this out and how to make offers to the homeowner and how to do these calculations, you wanna go back and watch that training video. Very important, okay? All right, so let's go back to where we were. All right, so here's the uh, the marination mode. You know, when you resume the conversation, you want to say, okay, John, great. So I spoke with my acquisitions manager, and I can say we're really close. I'm trusting you in what you've told me. I mean, you kept the property in, in good condition, right? Okay, so you want to get them to acknowledge. Um, after going over the comparable properties in your area and based on the condition of the home, the square footage, you want to just recap the repairs that they may have said. Maybe they got a leaky roof or carpeting and tile needs replacing or whatever they said. Um, also, this adds credibility here. There's another property in your area that just sold on the market as is condition for a little less than what we're prepared to offer you. But again, I'm trusting you that, you know, I'm trusting you with what you've told me. All right. So you always want to try and offer low, getting the highest wholesale fee possible to make the most commission. Okay. So it looks like we can give you a firm offer of, and then whatever the MAO is, the maximum allowable offer. Let's say it's $90,000. Would that work? Okay, if they say no, then you want to say, well, hold on a moment. Let me see if there's other contractors in your area that might be able to cut some corners on the repairs to get you a better price. Okay, hold on one second. So again, put them on hold for about a minute and come back and say, you know, this is where you want to, you know, cut the wholesale fee down by usually cut it in half. All right, come back and say, well, I've got some great news for you. I was able to get you $5,000 more for your property by using different contractors for some of the repairs. Would that work for you? Okay, so assuming they say yes, you're going to say, okay, great. So the next step is I'm going to send you over an email so we can review the document together. You can email them the uh, PowerForm link, which is the DocuSign link. You can email it or text it over to them. Again, we have created a training video that shows you exactly how to go through the contract with the homeowner. All right, so if you haven't seen that video already, please go back and watch that. All right, so you get their email address. All right. Can you put me on hold while you go to your computer and pull up your email? OK, if they say they're not at a computer or a laptop, then you want to say, can you put me on speaker on your cell phone? And I'm going to text you a link to click on from your smartphone. And then again, they'll click on the DocuSign, the PowerForm link, and then they'll be able to get to the contract. Again, uh, please refer to that training video on how to go over the contract with the customer. All right. Very important. You never want to send out the agreement unless they have access to their email right now. OK, so again, uh, John, we're trusting you to your word on the condition of the property. I'm going to send you over a real simple two page DocuSign agreement right now. I'm going to go over everything with you on the phone. Uh, you could fill out this agreement together. Uh, we can do it together so you can see that we're serious real estate investors prepared to offer you cash for your property. All right. We're going to put that, you know, ninety thousand dollar number right on the agreement. But again, I'm trusting you and everything you've said regarding the property. All right. So give me a second to send that over. All right, let me know when you received it. All right, so take your time. Let's go over it together. Now, again, this is where we walk them through exactly what to do. You should be looking at the page that says seller, which is you. So you want to type in your name and your email address so they get a copy of the agreement. And also, 
um, you want to type in our name and our email address. So you would type in Hometown Buyers Club into the field, okay, along with our email address so we get a copy of the contract so we can execute it and it automatically will be sent back to the homeowner, okay? You want to give them our email, which is offers at hometownbuyersclub.com. All right. So when you fill in the blanks with today's date, type in your name, type in the property address with the street, city, state, zip in that field. OK, under where it says purchase price, go ahead and type in the number we agreed on, which was ninety thousand dollars. Again, we show you in detail how to fill this out with the customer. You're going to have the customer filling in the blanks. We show you how to do this in the training video. So go back to the DocuSign training video and make sure to watch that. So minus the $500 earnest money deposit, which you're going to get added into the total at closing, um, go ahead and subtract $500 from the total purchase price, which would be, let's say, $89,500. But again, they're still going to get their $90,000. Make sure they understand that uh, in this example that we're, that we're using. The $500 earnest money, of course, is credited into the total uh, purchase sale price. All right, so just read through the agreement. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Um, when you're done, just click the button or push your finger where it says initial and sign, then click finish. And I'll stay on the phone with you while you do that. All right. If the seller says, you know, send me over the agreement so I can take a look at it and I'll call you tomorrow. You want to say, you know, Mr. Customer, let's do this. I'm going to call you tomorrow and then I'll send over the agreement so we can both go over it together because we typically don't send out cash offer agreements until a buyer is prepared to sign it. Very important because a lot of times if they say, yeah, just send it over and I'll take a look at it, it never ends up getting signed. They're going to show it to their you know, friends, family members. They're going to show it to their attorney or whatever the case is. So, you, you know, we get deals like that, of course, but a lot of them are done right here on the one call close. So you want to, you know, really stay on the phone with them um, and make sure that they're in front of their computer. So you can send that agreement out. So while the seller is reviewing the agreement, you want to say, uh, by the way, John, is this the best number to give to our transaction coordinator that's going to be dealing with the title company? OK, great. So just let me know when you're finished. Uh, let me know when you click finished and, and it's been sent back to me. All right, great. So the next step is I'm going to send the agreement to our transaction coordinator so she can prepare everything for the title company. Uh, they may want to come out and inspect the property first. Uh, just letting you know, she's going to be reaching out to you to introduce herself and she'll walk you through the entire process until we close on the property. That way we're all on the same page. All right, great. And one last thing, if you could have a, uh, we could have a photographer come out and take pictures of the home, but to avoid disturbing you or interrupting you when you're trying to relax to make it easier, could you send us a few pictures from your smartphone of the exterior and the interior of the house? If you could take some pics of the kitchen, bathrooms, master bedroom, etc. you know, try and take as many close-ups as you can. If you could email those over to offers at hometownbuyersclub.com and we're going to include also, please include your name and property address in the subject line of the email. All right. All right, great. So that's all we need. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Okay, terrific. So before I, I forward this off to get processed, um, we will have everything in order here. And uh, again, our transaction coordinator is going to be reaching out to you shortly. Have a great day. All right. Here we have the objections and the rebuttals. Um, these, of course, are the answers to their questions or concerns. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these with you now, uh, but again, it's just very simple. When they ask the questions, you know, how did you come up with that number or price? You want to have your rebuttals ready, okay? Uh, I'm shopping around for the best price possible. These are really good rebuttals. I'm sorry, but that offer is too low. I really need this amount. Um, you know, according to the tax appraisal uh, website on Zestimate, my house is valued at, you know, whatever. So you want to just uh, go through these rebuttals. They really, really work. All right. So um, again, guys, if you have not had a chance to, um, you know, really study the scripts, that's what you want to do. Study the scripts, study the rebuttals. Um, you want to, of course, go through this offer form, make sure you're fluent with these questions. Try and come up with the most organized way to go back and forth. Like I say, I know it was a little difficult with one screen that I'm able to record here, but ideally you want to have two screens or have a computer and a laptop in front of you. It just makes it so much easier because again, you'll have your cash offer form on one. You know, you might have prop stream on the other. Maybe you might want to print out the scripts or, or have your scripts minimized like, like I've got uh, here. So, you know, whatever works best for you. All right, so uh, that concludes the script training and the rebuttals. Um, if you have any questions at all,
please give us a call. Um, as always, let's have an extremely profitable day. Let's get a ton of sales and let's have a profitable year. We'll talk to you soon.